The top 1% of men is the peak of masculinity and the kind of man that all of us aspire to be. What you are about to hear could be truly life-changing for you, if, and I will repeat myself, only if, you put into practice everything you are about to hear, and stay patient. The top 1% of men is a whole different category of men. These powerful icons are notorious for being wildly different compared to the average modern man, especially when it comes to their habits. It's no secret, but you will never see a top 1%er indulge in instant gratification or any form of self-deprecating activity. Could you imagine Jordan Peterson going home after a long day of debates to bust his nut? Most likely not. The life of a top 1% man is full of wonder and joy rather than boredom and monotony like most weak individuals think. Today, you will learn the exact five daily habits of the top 1% men. As I said before, it takes hard work and patience in order to climb the social hierarchy and live as a king among men. If you lack even one of these two core components, you are bound to fail. You may work hard, but if you lack patience, you will fail. Likewise, if you have patience, yet you lack the ability to work hard and smart, then once again, you will fail. As harsh as it may sound, if you want to take on the challenge of turning yourself into a master of success like these individuals, you will need to sacrifice much of what you currently consider pleasurable and fun. Sacrifice is what set boys apart from men in the past, and does so even now, and will continue to do. With that said, let's check out those five habits. Number 1. Learning Most men give up on learning anything after going through the schooling system. Why? Simple. Because most aspects of corporate system train your mind to only learn from something if it has been peer-reviewed by the elites and been approved by them. As such, everything outside of this is considered pointless by you. The one and true way to learn in life is by being a lifelong student, which is exactly what the top 1%ers do in their daily life. And here's utter truth. The best type of learning is self-learning. Period. I will say it again. The best type of learning is self-learning. Do you think Einstein was taught how he should come up with new equations, or Nikola Tesla on how to innovate new electrical designs? Instead, it came down to their ability to learn and solve their issues on their own. It came down to them to learn on their own, to put together pieces of puzzles on their own, instead of relying on the corporates to do it for you. Remember brothers, no one is coming out to save you. The things that truly matter in life will need to be learnt on your own. There's a beautiful saying that goes like this. Only a fool learns from his own mistakes. A wise man, on the other hand, learns from the mistakes of others. So start observing. And that is why it's nearly impossible to grow to such levels of success without a proper mentor. Mentors are key to self-evaluation and discovery of one's flaws. One such figure could be your father, grandfather, or any masculine icon you can think of. Learn from them, listen to what they have to say, and put their teachings to good use. Another thing to use in order to speed up your learning process is accountability. A 1% man will always hold himself accountable and take responsibility for his mistakes. If you keep accountability in your day-to-day -day life, you'll crush your competition and begin rising to the top. Number 2. Investing this is probably one of the most crucial of the five points discussed in this video. The top 1% man is always investing on something, whether that's on their business or the development of new skills. Most men get this wrong time and time again. They waste their money on things they don't need to impress people who couldn't care less about them. Instead, put your money to work. Remember brothers, no matter your background, it's never too late to start planning for your future you might already be investing. And if you have, you would know that the past couple of years have been a chaotic time. The S&P 500 is down nearly 20% this year, and CEOs and analysts alike think the worst may be yet to come. So, what's their strategy? Banks like Morgan Stanley have been investing outside the stock market as a whole. They are investing billions of dollars into real assets like fine art. Why? Because they know that during periods of high inflation and economic downturn, assets like these can retain value, 
or even appreciate in value while other assets are declining. Now, most of us can't go out and spend $10 million on art, but with today's special sponsor, Masterworks, you can invest in contemporary art for a fraction of the cost. To be clear, this isn't NFTs. This is work from legendary artists like Picasso, Banksy, and Monet. In their last three sales, they've delivered net returns of 17.8%, 21.5%, and 33.1% to their investors. Nearly 600,000 people have signed up so far, and offerings have sold out in minutes. So to keep up with demand, Masterworks is launching new paintings on a weekly basis, but you can gain priority access to new offerings through the sign-up link in the description below. Number 3. The top 1% of men express their will into the world. The reason why the vast majority of modern men are miserable and hopeless is that there is always something that pulls their attention away from their purpose. Addictions, bad mental health, terrible relationships or jobs are all a form of social prison that prevents them from expressing their true willpower and freedom onto the world. But this is where the paths of a top man differ from that of an average man. Listen closely. A top 1% man never allows himself to remain a captive to himself or to the world. As we discussed in rule number one, he will learn on his own, find mentors and resources that will help him get out of that prison. Freedom is the name of the game for these men. If you are being bullied, instead of letting that harassment continue, the top 1% will form connections or get himself to a position where he can defend himself or cut of the bully from his status altogether. Let's say you are addicted to adult feeds, instead of saying, oh, it's too hard, I will never be able to break free. Once again, learn how to free yourself. Remember, there is always a solution. There is nothing in this world that cannot be solved. One of the worst excuse you can give as a man is to look at the top 1% men and say, oh, he is rich, that's why he can do it. If you simply observe others to hate on them, Instead of learning from them, then consider yourself in a prison already. It's no secret that these hyper-successful men are financially free thanks to their business, but that's not supposed to be a source of discouragement for any of you. Work is the primary way for a man to make himself free, and that's something you'll always have to keep in mind while journeying through life. As I said before, use the shovel of patience, hard work, and smart work to dig yourself out. Number 4. They remind themselves of their virtuous values. A man without values, regardless of his place in the social hierarchy, will forever be miserable. Period. Without any moral values, you could find yourself on top of the world, but still struggle with your inner demons. Ask yourself, was Hitler not a top 1% man? Absolutely he was. If you look at it from the worldly point of view, he had the cars, the houses, the influence, money, and power. Yet his values were not virtuous. As such, despite everything he had, you would never want to swap places with him unless you had something seriously wrong with your mind. This might be an extreme example, but that's exactly what it means by spending significant amount of time reminding yourself of the strict rules that you have set for yourself in order to control the power that you have in your hands. Just think of all those normal people who find overnight success only to give it all up as they indulge and waste it in a matter of a few weeks. That's all due to a lack of a solid rule set that prevents such failures from happening. In fact, go on Google right now and type in lottery winners that went broke. You will find an endless list of people on there. You will find people that won more than $10 million yet lost it all within a decade. Consider your values like the steering wheel on your car. You may have the most expensive car, yet without the values, you will drive it straight into a ditch. The top one percenters, unlike these aforementioned people, have disciplined themselves to the point where following their rules is normal. But in order to get to and maintain that level of self-control, one must dedicate a lot of time to forming their own values and abiding by them every single day. Start by grabbing a pen and paper. Think about the potential weaknesses you may have in your future. 
Then write down the different self-imposed laws you must follow for the rest of your life to stop these weaknesses from getting the better of you. This might be as simple as switching off all electronics two hours before sleeping so you don't fall into the temptation of consuming mindless content or never being alone with a girl at night, especially when you know you are not ready to continue the relationship. Only then will you be able to consistently stay in the path that you have chosen for yourself. And finally, number five, they take care of their health. It's surprising to see all these unhealthy people striving to live a happy and successful life without even considering the fact that they have destroyed themselves. In fact, I was thinking about this just the other day. Our world knows every sin that we know we should stay away from. Yet, gluttony is a sin that is never discussed. You will see so many religious leaders walking around with big bellies. They indulge in that sin. And the world normalizes it so much that you can't watch a movie without giving in to gluttony. It's a sin that can cost you your health and puts your generations to come on the line as well. Remember, brothers, your health is your biggest asset and for good reason. The healthier you are, the longer you can live on this earth, and the more time you have to enjoy your success. What's the point of getting million dollars if you can't even sit up straight? We all know about Mr. Warren the billionaire, yet none of us would swap places with him. The top 1% men know about this rule, and that's why they take care of their body in order to keep it in pristine conditions, even during their later years. If you have never exercised before, you will hate the first few weeks or months. But eventually, you will fall in love with the process. Stay active and avoid any junk food or harmful chemicals from contaminating your body. So remember, brothers, to be the top 1%, you can't focus on one thing and ignore the other. Get right with God. Work hard and smart on your virtuous goals and be patient. To see the next best way to level up as a man, check these videos here.